Hello everyone, it's Alex. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my studio. Today in this video, I'm just going to be going through all of the art that I made in January of 2024. So this is a new style of video for me, but I really like it whenever artists do this and just go through all of the work that they make in their sketchbook, completed work, and all of that. You can kind of see the, the daily practice of it all. Um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's what I have today. I'm gonna go through my sketchbooks first from smallest to largest, and then talk about some complete and incomplete acrylic paintings. So I hope that you enjoy. Um, I'm not gonna go in order by day. I'm just gonna do the smallest to largest sketchbooks and um, just talk about what's in them. So let's find where this month started. Okay, it was definitely right here. <laughs> um, so th this is from a trip that I took. I'll go through these quickly because they're just simple. Um, little quick sketches that I do whenever I'm out and about. Um, I took a trip to Park City and I have some other work um, that you'll see soon from that trip. This was from like the airport on the way there. Quick little dunking cup. Um, this is from the second flight that I took on the way there. I was sitting to where you could see part of the wing and this is like the, um, not the motor, but like, I don't know, <laughs> part of the plane. Um, that's what this one is. This is from a hike that we took. This is kind of the view from the top. You could kind of see the valley um, and then more mountains in the background. I have some more detailed paintings of that. Um, this is my sister chugging a beer at the top of our hike. Super, super quick one. And then this is a flower, this dried flower thing that I found um, also on the hike. And then we, so we hiked up this like little, you know, hike up a little mountain and we found a snowman up there. So I'll have to put a picture of him because I feel like I really captured his essence and that is him. So I did that. <laughs> so not a ton from that um, in this little book from this month, but I wanna just keep working on it. I started this not that long ago. Um, yeah, I started this in November of last year. Um, and this is just a handmade sketchbook that I made whenever I was doing like a book binding class. Um, so it's just like regular sketchbook paper that I cut down. Um, and it's, it's just a nice, special, small thing and really easy to take places. So I really enjoy working in that one. So next, let's talk about the work that I did in this mixed media sketchbook. So this one, I'm trying to be more loose with it. Um, yeah, so I started this on January 2nd. Um, so all the work in the sketchbook is from this month, which is exciting because there's I feel like quite a bit in here um and I just wanted to start this with something loose to kind of set the tone for this sketchbook being like carefree don't feel like I need to make finished work in it um and just to be able to share and experiment and play with color um so this is my opening spread um from January 2nd um these are some other like really loose um little paintings that I did. Um, I used uh, Pexel's reference photos of, they're all different kinds of roses kind of in different um, positions. So I drew them with pencil and then went in with watercolor to do the little outline. Um, this one here is also from a Pexel's reference photo. I don't love how this one came out. I think the, the black line is just a bit too heavy for this. Um, so maybe if I went in and like painted over it and like added more color, um, something like that could work out, but um, just not in love with that one and I kind of just got over it and moved on. <laughs> and then this is from the first art hang party that I did live. Um, so uh, the artist Melissa Martin does this every Thursday evening and um, I caught it live, which was really, really fun. Um, so what she does is she pulls reference photos. She does a lot of work behind the scenes to put it all together. She pulls all these reference photos, makes a color palette from the photos, and then sets up a live stream with a timer. And you can see her and hear her talking and you can see her sketchbook and what she's drawing. Um, and then you can draw along with her. 
So this was Cat Week. This is from the 11th, um, and it's just cats in different little silly um, positions. I'll fold this a bit closer. Um, so I kind of started over here and worked this way since I had, um, since it was wet. I used some watercolor. I did pencil first, then some watercolor and some um, neo color too, where I kind of had time to fill it in more. I love this one, sleepy cat. Um, so most of these are 2.5 minutes, two and a half minutes. This one was three and a half minutes because someone like cashed in an extra minute. Um, so then I was kind of. I feel like they got worse and worse. Like they got really silly looking. I think the reference photos got a little more challenging um, and just like a little bit weirder. This one's cute, how they're hugging. That one's kind of scary. Um, but yeah, those are all two point two and a half minutes. And then this is the last page of two and a half minute drawings. This is one of my favorite ones of the whole art hang party, the dancing cat. That really is what he looked like. Um, blind contour down here, which I never do, um, but that's interesting. And what's next? Oh, okay, these are fun. Um, so this one I went to uh, set up at a vendor market and uh, it was pretty slow and I figured that it would be pretty slow because it was a super, super cold day. Um, so I cut out pictures from some National Geographic magazines that I thrifted to like create bigger versions of them in my sketchbook. So this one is the sky hiking. Um, and I did this whole spread. It's pencil, watercolor, and neo color too. And then this is another same idea, just these flowers. They kind of look like carnations or like dahlias or something. Um, and I, I really like how this one came out. I like, I did like a purple to give it uh, like an outline and like some depth and I really like how that came out. Um, this is from that same day at that market. Um, I figured I would just paint kind of what was around me. Um, one of my fellow vendors was a, uh, they make like 3D printed objects and they gave me this 3D printed skull and they said they like to give it to artists um, to like paint on it um, and like kind of turn it into a piece of art. Um, so at some point I'll be painting that thing with acrylic, but, um, I just did a little sketch of it. That actually came out nice. I ended up spending a lot of time on these, my little skull, my tiny Coke that I had, and this is just my water cup from painting the other things. <laughs> um, I don't know what day this was, but just some little flowers, pretty simple. Okay, and this is the next week's art hang party. We did more cats, but this time it was cats and people. We did five minutes each, so it was a little bit longer. And each one is like a cat hugging a person or a person holding a cat. Um, and I really like how these came out too. I really like this one. This one's really sweet. And then this guy on his bike was really cute. I don't think I rendered the cat that well, but I think this man came out really cute. So yeah, um, this one was a man hugging like a tiger, no, a lion, <laughs> a lion. And um, we did it with the wrong hand and upside down. So I was like going like this and I've never tried to do that before. It was really hard, um, but I, I feel like you can tell that it's a man and a lion. It just kind of looks crazy, <laughs> um, but yeah. I, really enjoyed that one it was really fun i like do, trying to do people it's not like something that i do very often um and i like with the art hang party it's like no pressure it's like if their face comes out weird their face comes out weird like you know whatever it's like you have to just move on and i think that makes it fun and gives you really good practice um this one is from the trip that i took to park city so um this is actually a view from somewhere I was sitting, so it's like a railing with a view behind it. And I really, I really like how this one came out. I like the color. Um, the brown is really nice. I thought the composition was kind of cool and simple. These are also from the trip. So these are um, like images from the hike that I went on. 
um, but I took the, I took pictures on my phone and then whenever I got back to where I was staying um, put some of the ideas that I really liked in my sketchbook like these little pockets where like things were popping out of the snow I just loved the way that it looked and yeah I really like how this one came out I can kind of fix some of this it got a little muddy um, but I really like how that came out um, and I want to keep playing with that idea um, these little orange leaves that I saw were like the only thing that like had a bright color um, everything it was beautiful but it was very like gray and white um, and those leaves really stuck out to me um, and this is that kind of flower thing um, that I found on the hike that I really liked um, I had I took pictures of it and then painted it when we got back um, this is actually not done I'll go back and finish this um, at some point this month um, but we went to this great restaurant called the vertical diner um, it's a vegan diner and it was so good this was in Salt Lake City um, so this is kind of what my first layer looks like whenever I do uh, paintings like this. So I did pencil and then did watercolor, but I'm gonna layer in um, more watercolor, more detail, and neo color too, maybe colored pencil. Um, and then this one came out really, really nice. I spent a long time on this one. Um, whenever my friends went skiing, I don't ski, so I sat at the bottom of the ski slope and drew this picture of the ski slope. This is where people come down um, this is like part of another lift this is the like the main lift that you could see from where I was snow blowers the little slow down signs little railing and I think I did a nice job on the like trees in the, the background back here so this one I really like um, I just did pencil and colored pencil um, I didn't want to get out my like paints and everything because I was sitting in public by myself but um, even though it does have like a softer feel because of the colored pencil, I really like how that came out. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, that's the end of this one. So let's talk about this large sketchbook, which I'll keep here on the desk. Sorry if those have been shaking around a little as I hold them. Um, I also started this one this month because I got this sketchbook for Christmas. I asked for some mixed media sketchbooks. I've been thinking about the idea of making like a floral um, set of paintings to make like a calendar, like make making at least 12 coordinating um, like still life and floral paintings. So this is just kind of some ideas that I had, like thinking about fruit, different background colors, different flowers. Some of these are from, or maybe all of these are like from Pexels references. This is like that hand holding the flowers and then look how much nicer this is than the one with the black outline at least to me I think this is really successful and is really nice um yeah so different kind of ideas for like different months is kind of what I was playing with here and these are neo color too maybe a little bit of watercolor um and pencil um this is just still life objects from Pexels references um I like this page it was really relaxing to do. I love just drawing from life and stuff. Um, so yeah, just thinking about things that I love that I want to incorporate. So like sewing notions, like little scissors, um, this record player I really liked. Um, I have a teacup collection. This is one from Pexels, but I like drawing my teacups. Um, and yeah, flowers and vases and stuff like that. I just really love it and want to incorporate that into my work that I'm doing. Um, this is a still life that I took the picture of. So this is from my teacup collection and just stuff that I had around the house. And I like how this looks with the blue. I'm really happy with it. I want to do more still life. Um, and I really just need to, I need to set up my own and take my own pictures because that really motivates me. And it makes it really feel like mine and really feel purposeful and meaningful. Um, but I don't often spend the time to go and set up the still life. Um, but I did that for this and I'm, I'm glad I just went with the blue cause it's just a sketchbook piece, you know, and I didn't spend that much time setting this up, but 
I really like how this came out and it really motivated me to keep working on that on that still life work. This one, I want to do a little bit more on this one too because you can see it got muddy up here because I, I put in these dark things and I go try to go put in the background. And of course, like this is a watercolor, so it's like smudging all over. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what I was talking about with the branches coming out of the snow and the the pockets around the bases of them. Um, like they look like individual trees, but it's like this is one tree, just the, the trunk of it and the base of it is like under the snow. Um, and I just think that's so interesting and pretty. I don't live somewhere where we get a lot of snow. Um, so it was just really cool to see like how it interacts with things and the light because it's so it's so bright and how it melts and stuff it was just so pretty so um i definitely was really inspired on that trip um, this is another little still life that i set up um so this is like part of my teacup collection i have like this set i have like the plates <laughs> and like everything um so this like picture i thought was really nice with these um and I really like how much depth I got into this one. So originally I did the pencil watercolor and putting in the neo color and then going in with like dark watercolor and getting these dark areas with the black and stuff. Um, it's just like really pulled out the like three dimensional quality of these. I put like, I set these up and put a light um, on the side. So it had this strong light and a strong shadow on this side. Um, so it really, it makes it easier to capture that quality whenever the, the shadows are really clear. So I really like how this one came out. And that's the end of this sketchbook. Um, okay, so let's talk finished paintings that I did this month. Um, I started off the month with a commission um, that I'll put a picture of. I did a whole video um, about the process of making this painting and I had started it had I started it? I think I had started it in December, um, but I finished it up um, at the beginning of the month and and I delivered it to its new home. <laughs> or it was picked up from my home. Um, and then these are the other paintings I did. So first was this one. Um, so this is a still life that I set up and i i liked the photo i think that what i have an issue with with this painting is i was i was kind of taking it too seriously and trying to get really close to the photo i was like okay well you know the mannequin man i'll make him more of a rich brown like that'll be nice but i should have taken that liberty on everything and this is definitely not done um and i can keep working on it um but you'll see in the next one that I have, I made the the background, this is like my wall color. Um, so I made it a little bit bluer than it is. It's like a very pale gray blue. Um, I made it a little bit bluer, but on the next one that I did, I really just made it blue. And it's, I kind of want to do that, like make this blue, decide that this is going to be, because right here, this is like a work of, like a piece of art that's in the background. This is a piece of art that's in the background. So maybe keeping this one gray, but making this side blue and having that line show more clearly. Um, and then just pumping up the colors more. I also didn't really finish the detail down here. This is like a colorful um, dishcloth. Um, so it had a lot of different colors. It's like a woven, um, really colorful thing. So I, it would have it was taking me a while to kind of get the colors in the right places so i haven't gone in and put the detail in that and these are like um colored pencils um so i want to just go in and kind of finish things and clarify things and brighten things up and fix some of my little you can see my colored pencil um marks uh coming through because i did image transfer this um instead of like sketching it or painting it i um yeah i took my photo put it in Procreate, traced it, printed it out. And so I, I do that kind of careful process whenever I do commissions, um, cause it makes it a lot easier to get the likeness. You don't have to like stress about trying to figure out the proportions before you start painting. Um, but I just think that I was a little bit too careful with this one. Um, 
but I definitely think it's savable and then I'll be finishing it up this month. Um, the next one that I did, or actually, I'll talk about um, another one, a really large piece that I did this month, I'll move this, um, that I'm gonna be giving to my parents. So I'll get um, some footage or a photo of that because it is on the wall and it definitely will not fit on my desk here. Um, this is a three foot by four foot acrylic painting um, that's gonna go up in my parents' like living dining room. And I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, I did have a reference photo that they had taken um, and my mom specifically wanted the colors to be a bit brighter. I had done another piece from this reference photo and I think she wasn't crazy about the like how like kind of dark and gray it was. Um, and so, you know, I try to do that, like, whenever I'm working from a reference photo, take the liberty to, like, make it prettier. Um, so I tried to kind of do that here, and I don't know that this piece is 100% finished. Um, to get it to my parents, it's like an eight-hour drive. So I have time, like, once we decide that I'm going to go drive it down there or we're going to meet up somewhere or something, I'll probably put some finishing touches on it and make some final decisions before I deliver it. But overall, it's just a big accomplishment to make this big of a painting. Um, I'm really proud of myself for saying I was gonna do it and doing it. I wanna be doing bigger commissions and bigger work and it really it really did come out good and I'm proud of it. Um, so it's hanging in my living room right now because having it in my studio, I couldn't really work on anything else with it being in my painting area because it's so large. So it's hanging up next to my TV. So I see it like every day. <laughs> and I think that's part of why I am like kind of funny about it and don't really feel like it's, it's done. Like I think I'm just looking at it a little bit too much, but I do like that one. Um, yeah, so the last piece that I did, I actually finished this one up yesterday on January 31st. And this is a still life that I set up. Um, I made a little reel. I'm trying to be better about, you know, Instagram and things. So I made a little reel of just like me putting the things back here to set up this still life. Um, and then I took photos, I posted my reel, um, and I'll put up my reference photo so you can see what I was working with and what I'm talking about like I bumped up the colors a lot on this and I think it's really successful um it's very illustrative but I I like that um yeah I just think it's pretty and this this means something to me because I know and see these objects all the time um and so this is a piece that's special to me. And I think like if I did this for someone else, wouldn't that be cool to play with like their their objects that are special or do a, something like this that's like a tablescape from their wedding or something like that, like something that means something to them. Um, and then just fresh flowers from H-E-B. Like it's just, this is a really special moment and a really special collection of objects to me. Um, so I really like this piece even though it's like just a still life. I don't think I necessarily, I don't need to defend still life, you know, um, but this is something that I really like and that I wanna keep keep working with and think about how I can give it meaning to, to other people too. So yeah, let me um, turn the camera a little bit and I'll, I'll say hi before I wrap up the video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you stayed until the end of the video. Um, it's just, it's been great to be able to share my art and my process with people here on YouTube. So just know that I appreciate you. And if you get a chance, if you want, like and subscribe. Uh, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel or even hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified whenever I have another video out. So thank you so, so much. Um, if you want to find me on Instagram or my website, anything like that, I have links in the description of this video. Um, but feel free to leave a comment, ask me a question, or just say hi. And I'm looking forward to talking to you. Okay, bye.